Alright, this video I'm going to teach you how to cut your own hair. Now I'm going to help you save a lot of money. Um, learning to cut your hair at first, it's going to be a little difficult, but when you get used to it, um, you're going to save a bunch of money. So, if you cut your hair once a week, it's going to cost you at least 10 bucks. And, you know, you got the opportunity cost, the gas, driving to and from there. The, opp the opportunity cost me the time. So you might take an hour, 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back waiting maybe even two hours so I'm telling you you'd be saving a lot of money um, ten dollars just alone um, every week is forty dollars a month and then you save the opportunity cost you're talking about maybe saving it close to a hundred dollars a month and then you could cut your kids here you could cut your friends here it's not that hard I'm show you how to do it um, it's not that difficult all right so what we do right now I'm gonna cut the top of my hair I'm gonna use these scissors right here. Alright? So, cut the top of my hair. This is a little bit long for me, so I'm just gonna cut it, snip it off the top, and uh, straighten it out in the top. Like this. So that's not bad right there. Just snip off the hair on the top, straighten it out. Okay. It's pretty decent right now. Okay. Now I gotta get the clippers. Now you can get these clippers. It's not that expensive. I'm talking about like around 20 bucks. You can get them. Get them at Walgreens, get them at Walmart, Target. Alright, now I got it at a zero, so there's no clip around there. There's a notch on the left hand side. You can go up and down. When you go down, that's a zero. When you go up, that's 0 0.5. So I'm going to go into zero because I like it short. I'm going to shave it up to here and go all the way around. Go all the way around. I need to be proficient with both both hands. Now I'm gonna use my left hand to the other side. You have to be proficient with both hands in order to cut your own hair. And I stay I forgot to mention you need a double mirror or you need access to two different mirrors so you can do the back side of your head. Nice thing about cutting your own hair is if you mess up you got nobody else to blame but yourself. Um, when you have somebody else cut your hair, you usually push the blame on somebody else. But um, some you have to take self responsibility. If you mess up, it's all on you. And that's part of being responsible. If you take care of yourself. You want to make this line as straight as you can, all the way around. So, going all the way around, 
And then now we are going to put a number one on there. So it comes with clippers when you buy it. This is a number one. This is the shortest clipper. Throw it on there. We keep it at number one. Now when you leave it down, that's number one. You bring it up, that's number two. Or well, not number two, that's number one and a half. So this is number one and a half, this is number one when you go down. So go up just a little bit, about an inch, all the way around. Shake off the excess hair and keep going. Okay, so we got that. Now we're gonna put it to number 1.5, so we just raise it up a notch. This is a 1.5 now, and I'm gonna go a little bit higher. Now, if you want it longer than the size, all you have to do is just use a bigger clip. But the concept goes the same, the fading process is the same, regardless if you use. Number four, five, or six, or number one, the fading process is the same. Okay, so we have that. Now we're going to go to a number two. So we go to number two and go up a little bit more Five. So we just raise it up with no clipper on there, and then now I gotta get rid of that line that I created at the beginning. You might have to press down a little bit harder here because you gotta get close to the head and get rid of that extra line. So, I'm almost done. I'm gonna put it to a number zero and just kind of even it out a little bit on the sides by going up. And then just kind of go over the top, try to even out the top a little bit. Any extra hairs that might be sticking up. So, I think I'm pretty much done. That's pretty much it. I mean, I'm done.
Alright, so there's your quick tutorial. This is how I cut it. Um, you could experiment and see what works for you. Not everybody likes their hair as short as the way I do it, so that's why there's different clippers that you can work with and figure out what you, what style that you like the best. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you do like the video, like, click like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Alright, take care.